All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, understanding case sensitivity in variables. So in JavaScript, all variables and function names are case sensitive. This means that capitalization matters. Uh-huh, very much so. So all capitalized MyVar is not the same as upper camel case MyVar, nor lower all lowercase MyVar. It is possible to have multiple distinct variables with the same name, but different casing. All right, this is also, just in case you don't know, this is uh, upper camel case, uh, not proper camel case, or just regular, we would call this camel case. Anyway, that being said, it is strongly recommended that for the sake of clarity, we do not use this language feature, all right? So the best practice is to write variable names in JavaScript in camel case, all right? In camel case, multi-word variable names have the first word in lowercase, like this one right here, like camel here, and the first letter of each subsequent word is capitalized, it's also like codeman S, right? Uh, so for example, we've got all this stuff right here. You can see it, I don't need to read it. Uh, so now we're gonna modify the existing declarations as and assignments so that their names use camel case. And we're not gonna create any new variables. Also, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff right here because I cannot stand having all these vars in my face. I cannot stand that. We're going to turn these semicolons into commas, these first two semicolons colons into commas, and then we'll start, well, then we'll do what we got to do. So now we're going to say equals. No, we don't need to do that. Uh, they're doing them all down here. So first we're going to turn studly cap var into studly. So we'll say udly cap var thusly. Let's uh, take the, actually, let's, we'll fix that in a second. Title case over, let's just change this capital T into a lowercase t, all right? So let's take this, copy it, a paste it, copy it, a paste it, and a copy it, and a paste it. No, oh, no, 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 and a paste it, all right. Uh, what proper camel case is not defined? Proper camel case, proper camel case. Don't forget the comma. All right, let's run the test. Nope, value of 10, it does. Show the camel case in both declarations and assignment section. What? Studly Capvar, Studly Capvar, Studly Capvar. What's the difference, Bryce? Title keys over. Power came from Studly Capvar. A string. What? Studly Capvar. Duh. <laughs> what a noob. What a noob. Oh my. Noob. Let's run it. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to explore differences between the var and let keywords, and we'll see you next time.